Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at IBM Interconnect 2015. Brought to you by headline sponsor, IBM. Presentation of IBM Interconnect. IBM Interconnect Go.com is this website for the social digital experience powered by CrowdChat, powered by the Cube, powered by Veronica Belmont, and all the VIP influences, and more importantly, powered by the crowd. This is the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media, with the other co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media, Dave Vellante, uh, putting SiliconANGLE, Wikibon, and the Cube together to bring you all the action. Dave Vellante, great to see you again here. Interconnect Go is really where the action's changing for IBM. Two big shows now for IBM. Interconnect is one of them. They put all their cloud, mobile, and developer all in one show. And their next show, Inside, which is gonna, we're going to also do as well. Um, it's all about a new way, a new way to do things. And their slogan, a new way to fill in the blank, new way to work, new way to inspire, new way to do things. IBM is bringing uh, technology to the enterprise, which is starved for cloud, mobile, social, big data, big data analytics. Great to see you, you're snowed in last week in Boston. You, John. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was watching, of course, the live stream, and, and, and of course, you guys are talking a lot about big data, and we're going to talk about big data this week. IBM has a huge analytics business. The conversations here at this show at Interconnect are going to be much different than we heard last week. A lot of geeking out about Hadoop and Spark all kinds of things that are happening in that community. IBM's really focused on business outcomes. We're going to hear a lot about that this week. I think, as well, I want to address the show, Interconnect itself. It's a consolidation of a number of other shows that really impact and pulse. And I think, John, it underscores the transition that IBM is in. IBM is, is undergoing a transition. Ginny Rometty, the CEO, is, is orchestrating that transition, repositioning the company around cloud and mobile and systems of engagement, really, which means social, you know, and, and, and analytics is the other big one. And so those businesses are growing very nicely, but the problem that IBM has is it has to shrink to grow, a lot like HP in, in yeah. some respects. IBM was a $106 billion company in 2011. It's a $93 billion company today. To me, John, that's a good thing. IBM divested $7 billion worth of business last year with its Systems X business, its microelectronics business, and its business process uh, uh, outsourcing uh, component. That's seven billion it just sort of pushed aside because they were losing money. You know, Dave, we cover all the different events, the shows, we're on the ground, on the you know, VMware, IBM, all the top companies, and the one trend that's consistent, I will say, is on the right trend line in the right direction, their new way to think and their keynotes this morning, very relevant. And we heard from Ping Lee at Excel Partners last week at Big Data SV as part of uh, Big Data Week in Silicon Valley, as well as Frank Cartali with Ignition Partners. He's a former time Microsoft guy back in the days. Bottom line, the entire stack of technology is up for disruption. And that means there's a new way to think, a new way to attack problems and create value. IBM over the past three years, we've watched their show a couple of little shows, they bring them together for a big tent, great strategy. More importantly, their customers are hungry for being faster, more agile, more capital efficient. This new way to do things that they're talking about includes analytics, in memory, Watson, cloud, developers. IBM is truly, in my opinion, on the right course. The question is, can they execute? Can they shed some of the things that they've done in the past? We saw some divestitures, we've seen some changes. But Bob Picciano talked to us in New York City. I believe that they are on the right track. I spoke with uh, Adam Gunther from the team last night and Blue Mix. I said, you guys got to go faster. Pedal faster. He said, we're pedaling as fast as we can. The bottom line is Blue Mix is a catalyst. They are driving the cloud, putting soft layer mix in there. So dockerization, containers, Redis, this is stuff that's in the IBM ecosystem now. This is cutting edge developer, Amazon-like, innovation that was part of the last decade of growth now coming into the enterprise. This to me is the big story. It's about using those technologies, re-engineering the value chains in IT, and reinventing the future. Mobile, Internet of Things, these are all the waves that are hitting. Robert LeBanc said in his keynote today, you're either going to be a disruptor or you're going to get disrupted. The, the interesting thing about IBM is they're on both sides of that coin, right? IBM is a disruptor with its cloud, mobile, social, analytics, and it's getting disrupted with a lot of its old business, a lot of its uh, uh, outsourcing business, 
uh, which I want to make a comment on. It's hardware business, it's software business is, is actually mixed, but the, the core of IBM now, John, is the new strategic initiatives. They're growing at 16%, they make up about more than 25% of the company. That's really where IBM yeah. is investing. You know how IBM works. Sometimes it's slow, it takes its time to really focus its strategy, but once it gets the strategy right, we saw this, you know, the last big wave under Gerstner, once it gets that strategy right, it points all the resources toward those new growth areas, and then boom, it goes. And that's really what's happening now. You know me, John, you always say, follow the money. IBM threw, threw up over $6 billion in free cash flow last quarter, more than $12 billion in free cash flow last year. Now that's down a little bit, it's under pressure, but nonetheless, IBM is, is, continues to be a free cash flow machine. What is that free cash flow? It allows them to buy back shares. <laughs> IBM has funded enormous share buybacks, which Wall Street loves. IBM used to have over two billion shares outstanding. It's now under a billion, John. So what does that do? It lifts the tide of the stock market. So Dave, one of the themes we're going to be talking about here is because the clouds were the action and it's fueling a lot of the old school, new school transformation, but also not really killing the old to bring in the new. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a co-opetition, if you will, from a tech standpoint, but unification is a theme that we're seeing in tech. And there's a term that's been used in the cloud DevOps world called standing up some infrastructure, the word standing up. What that implies is getting it up fast, putting stuff up. We do it with content, we do it with that's What cloud has shown is that customers want to stand up solutions. They want to stand up solutions that matter and they want to stand up solutions that can get to value fast. With analytics, with the cloud technologies, this notion of standing something up will be something we'll be talking about. Well again, about. I think last week you guys were at uh, Data Week and, and Big Data SV, Strata, Hadoop World. You heard a lot about products, a lot about innovations, and it's the, sort of the mainspring of the big data meme is really coming from Hadoop. But you didn't hear a lot about solutions and that's what IBM's all about, is solving customer problems. Uh, I tell you, I mentioned outsourcing before. I, I've been sort of critical of the outsourcing business in general. The world is moving to IT as a service, no question. IBM did two $1 billion plus outsourcing last year. Uh, one with Lufthansa and one with ABM AMRO. And the underpinning of those outsourcing deals, John, was cloud. And they're bringing cloud, mobile, analytics, solutions, to your point, to the business. That's where IBM wins. You know, IBM, we're going to watch these guys, been watching all their moves. They are doing something really innovative. They are attacking those problems. But what they're doing here is providing really awesome cutting edge stuff from technologies, but also to how they're interfacing with their customers. They are practicing social business. We are part of the social experience, the Go Social Lounge at the Mandalay Bay. And now the Crowd Chat and the Cube and all of our technologies that we've been connecting with are going to bring it into the social world. We're going to talk to Veronica Belmont and all the VIP influence. We're going to capture all the data share that with you. It's about being open, being transparent, and bringing that data to you. So Dave, I'm really looking forward to it. You will watch the CUBE interviews with, with the top executives, top developers, and we're going to ask Kay the questions. Wait, where's the meat on the bone? What's happening? What's happening with IBM customers and, and the technologies, and what does it mean? This is the CUBE. Stay tuned for our next interview after the short break for three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage here live in Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay, part of IBM Interconnect. And for a digital experience, go to interconnectgo.com. You'll find all the influencers there, the trending stories, what's ha what hashtags are trending, and also chats you can jump into. So stay tuned and be part of the conversation and join us. We'll be right back after this short break. I think uh, what I've come to find, I think my second time on theCUBE is, I mean, it's just such a real time, 